This video is sponsored by MSI. Hi brothers, Marvin here from TechBureau.com where we do unboxings, reviews, and sexy bureaus. And today we're going to build a minimalist work from home setup featuring the MSI QB510M mini PC and the MSI Pro MP271 monitor. A great combination since you can easily attach the MSI QB5M mini PC at the back of the monitor, allowing for a very clean desk setup and perfect for any limited workspace environment, especially that a lot of us are now working at home during this pandemic. In this video, I'll show you how I set it up and share with you some use case scenarios. With that being said, let's get into it. Alright, so for the first item on our setup, we have the MSI Pro MP271 monitor, which is under MSI's business and productivity lineup. Inside the box, we have a safety warning, the metal support bar, a power cable, some paperwork, an HDMI cable, the monitor itself sandwiched between two styrofoam protection, and the circular support base, which you can easily attach to the support bar without using any tools like so. Now, all that is left is to attach the support bar and base to the back of the monitor like so. Pretty straightforward process. I'll pop the complete specifications and dimensions of the MSI Pro MP271 on the screen so that you can check it out. But in terms of the adjustment options, the only thing that we have here is forward and backward tilt as you can see here. There's no option to swivel or adjust the height. You can, however, rotate the base like so depending on your preference. What I like about this monitor on the other hand is the quite minimal design with thin bezels all around and just a small MSI logo at the bottom center of the chin. Not to mention its overall slim form factor. Now looking at the back, we have an MSI logo here at the top center. We have some ventilations here. The 100 by 100 mm VESA mounting points where we will attach the MSI QB510M later to essentially build a sort of all-in-one desktop computer. Now we have some dedicated buttons here for the OSD settings. The input and output ports here which I'll just overlay on the screen the metal support bar and base, and a Kensington lock slot right here. Now, comparing the MSI Pro MP271 monitor from its competitors, it has better color accuracy, has 100 by 100 mm VESA mounting support, which in my opinion is quite important, and has two built-in speakers, which are essential in case you want to save some budget in terms of audio. We'll talk more about this monitor later, but let's just take a look at the other components that we're going to use for this work-from-home setup first. Next, the perfect partner for the MSI Pro MP271 is of course the MSI QB510M mini PC. I'll pop the specifications on the screen so that you can check it out. Now inside the box, we have some paperwork, the 65 watts power adapter, a power cable, a SATA data cable, and a SATA power cable if you want to use a 2.5 inch storage device. Inside the box, we also have the metal bracket that we're going to use to attach the MSI QB510M via the 100 by 100 mm VESA mounting option at the back of the monitor. Of course, we have some mounting screws for that. And lastly, we have the MSI QB510M mini PC itself, and as you can tell, it features a very small and compact form factor and relatively lightweight as well, so essentially, you can also bring this anywhere with you. Here on the front side, we have 3.5 mm input and output audio ports, USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A and Type-C ports, an activity LED indicator, and the power button also with an LED indicator. Flipping it on this side, we have some sort of real type design. And then on the other side, we have the connector for the optional external power button and a Kensington lock slot right here. Here at the back side, we have the rest of the input and output ports. So we have an HDMI port and a display port allowing for a dual monitor setup. We also have an Ethernet port, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A ports, two USB 2.0 Type A ports, and the power port. Now, the overall build quality, although made mostly out of hard plastic materials and a metal backplate, is pretty decent. No flex at all. And lastly, here at the bottom, we have some mounting options, including the two slots where we can slide this in on the included VESA mounting bracket. Now, for the peripherals, we're going to use the MSI Immerse GH50 gaming headset, which features two 40mm drivers, virtual 7.1 surround sound and vibration system, RGB illumination, detachable microphone, and inline controls. We're also going to use the MSI Agility GT20 gaming mousepad, which features a smooth low friction texture and just enough real estate for a minimal desk setup. And to partner with that, we have the MSI PK30 keyboard and mouse combo, which features an optical gaming mouse and a mechanical feel gaming keyboard. Now, since we're essentially building a work from home desk setup, this set of peripherals should be sufficient enough for any productivity tasks. 
Of course, any work from home setup wouldn't be complete without a decent webcam, so we're going to use the MSI Pro Cam webcam that supports 1080p resolution. Alright, so with all the components introduction out of the way, let's cue the desk setup montage. There you have it guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this setup. By the way, like I said earlier, you can also mount the MSI QB510M mini PC at the back of the MSI MP271 monitor. And the process is super easy. All you have to do is install the 100 by 100 mm VESA mounting bracket at the back of the monitor and simply slide the MSI QB510M in like so. What's good about this is that you can easily attach and detach the MSI QB510M thanks to the separate mounting bracket. Now, cable management will highly depend on your skills and the amount of time you're willing to put into it, but as long as the cables aren't visible in front, then it should be fine. Now, before we move on to the performance side of things, let's talk more about the MSI Pro MP271 monitor first. The MSI Pro MP271 features anti-flicker with blue light reduction and anti-glare panel that ultimately helps with eye care, perfect for a work-from-home environment where we spend most of our time daily. It also features a 27-inch 1920x1080p resolution IPS panel with up to 75Hz refresh rate and 5 milliseconds response time. Now, while its specifications are not that ideal for gaming, it is perfectly suitable for productivity. As you can see, it has thin bezels all around and like I said earlier, the design and footprint of this monitor is very minimal, albeit lacks some adjustment options. In terms of display quality, the colors are vibrant with decent contrast levels and with an IPS panel, the viewing angle is also pretty good. As per my testing, it covers 92% sRGB, 70% NTSC, 73% Adobe RGB, and 73% P3 color gamut. While it's not super color accurate, unless you're going to do color accurate tasks, it should be sufficient enough for most work from home tasks like encoding, web applications, and what have you. Alright, so for this part of the video, we're taking a look at the MSI Display Kit which is an application that you can use alongside the MSI MP271 monitor. By the way, I'm still using the MSI GH50 gaming headset for the recording of this part of the video. So on the first tab, we have the split window, which essentially you can choose multiple windows and then split them depending on your preference or depending on your preferred layout as you can see here. So it will automatically split as you can see. Um, of course, you can do this without using this application, using just uh, the windows or manually snapping the folders together. But if you want, or if you choose to do so, you can do this inside the MSI Display Kit. On the second tab, we have the display settings. So of course, we have the orientation, landscape, portrait, and the flip versions. And for the resolution, the maximum resolution for this monitor is 1920 by 1080p. And for the refresh rate, the maximum is 75Hz. So technically, you can still uh, game on this monitor at 75Hz, but this monitor is more for, again, work from home environment. But if you want to game, you have that option at your disposal. So for bit count, it is 32. And then on the third uh, tab, we have here the color settings, which pretty much you have the um, settings or um, presets for different colors. There you go, that you can access also using the OSD settings. But the benefit of using the MSI Display Kit is that changing between the settings are easier because you can use your mouse. On the last tab, we have the tools, which we have the mouse settings, on-screen keyboard setting, magnifier, project. You can also connect to a wireless display and you also have power settings that you won't otherwise have just using the OSD settings. So again, if you choose to install the MSI Display Kit, this is the settings or the features that you have at your disposal. So let's proceed with the rest of the review. Honestly speaking, for the specifications of the MSI QB510M with a 10th gen Intel Core i5U processor, 8GB of RAM, and an integrated Intel UHD graphics, this is more suitable for office tasks and web applications such as blogging, online photo editing for social media postings, probably NFT games which is the latest craze right now if you're into that, and other web-based applications. Of course, you can also use this for standalone Windows applications, providing that the MSI QB510M meets its minimum system requirements. Aside from work-related tasks, of course, you can use this as a normal computer for browsing, 
media consumption, light gaming, and things around that nature. Now, just in case you're interested, here are the rest of the additional benchmarks that I did for the MSI QB510M Mini PC. Alright, so to conclude, first and foremost, you don't really necessarily have to copy this entire setup as it is. You can spice it up, upgrade the peripherals if you want to, but essentially, I hope you get a bit of an idea how a simple work from home setup like this can be utilized. I feel like the MSI QB510M is really a good option if you're looking to build a minimalist desk setup for tight spaces, especially during this pandemic that most of us really didn't think of working from home. Not all of us have the space to work with, and if you prefer a desktop computer rather than a laptop setup, this is the closest thing you can get to save some space. And there you have it guys, thank you for watching. Huge thanks to MSI for letting me experience this work from home setup. You can get all the components, especially the MSI QB510M and the MSI Pro MP271 using the links below. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you like this, and see you next time. Have a great day guys, you're awesome.